As you might remember, when Amazon released its first Kindle in 2007, the device looked a lot like a small computer because it had a full keyboard on it. It took until 2011, when the Kindle Touch was launched, that the first Kindle came with a touch screen, yet still had this one little home button on the bottom. But since the introduction of the Paperwhite, about one year later in 2012, the Paperwhite has always been touchscreen only. And over the years, the technology has gotten better and better. The Paperwhite 2020 is a device with an excellent touchscreen. Unlike your smartphone, the Kindle Paperwhite is set up with three different zones. The top zone, which covers the toolbars. The central zone, which is the largest zone and covers the middle of the screen. A quick tap or swipe here moves you to the next page. And the left zone, which is quite long but narrow. A tap here moves you to the previous page. As the zone is so small, your tap has to be more precise. Remembering this breakup of the screen will make navigation easier in general. And by the way, your swipes can be very short, so you don't have to move your hands while reading. There are two special forms of finger navigation that you should definitely know because it can improve your reading experience. One is long tapping. Depending on where you're at the moment, a long tap or hold offers you a special action. When you long tap within a book, a special menu is opened that allows you to view the definition of a word. In a list of books on the home screen, when you long tap one of the books, you can read its description or add it to a collection. Also in the home screen, long tapping on an ebook sample allows you to buy a book, read its description, or delete it from the reader. The other special finger trick is pinching and unpinching. It took me a while to learn about this one. The pinch motion allows you to increase or decrease the font size of the current text. This is great because you don't have to go to the letter menu to reset the size. It saves you a few steps through the menu. It is a bit tricky though. You have to move your finger slowly Otherwise, you will experience a delay between your finger motions and the change of the text size. 